This video is a reenactment of my blog article, Stuck Blender Blade. Over time, particles get stuck and you think that your blade assembly is broken. Very likely it's not broken. That's why you should try the unsticking procedure before you resort to buying a new blade assembly. I'm going to simulate testing the blender to confirm that the blade does not turn. Make sure the blender is plugged in. Press the pulse button to see if the blade turns or not. The blade should not turn and there should be a high hum that indicates the blade is not turning. Take the blender off its stand, disassemble the parts, and try to place them in the order that you take everything apart. It's easier to turn the blender upside down to take things apart so things don't fall. After the cup, you have the blade assembly, the gasket, and the bell jar. You can actually choose to disassemble the blender from the base and separate the parts as I have shown in my picture on my blog article. Bring a small pan of water to a rolling boil. The water should be about maybe one and a half inches, enough to submerge the blade assembly. Also have handy a saucer and a spoon or tongs for retrieving the blade assembly. Have a rag nearby so that you'll be able to drop the blade onto the cloth. With a pan of water and a rolling boil, Use a spoon or tongs to lower the blade assembly into the water. Boil it for about three to five minutes, making sure that all the residue from the blade assembly comes out in the hot water. After the three to five minutes, turn the burner off. Use a spoon or tongs to retrieve the blade assembly. Drain it a little bit. Put it onto the rag that you have handy. It's quite hot. Make sure you don't hurt yourself as you are drying the blade assembly. Swivel the blade assembly to confirm it turns. If it does that, you've pretty much fixed your problem of a suck blender blade. As a suggested step after that, Take the blender blade to the sink and rinse it off in colder water and dry it with a paper towel. After you've rinsed off the blade assembly, dry it off. Be careful not to cut yourself with the blades. Swivel the assembly. Confirm that everything still turns. Now 
put the blender parts together again. I've placed the parts in the order that seems to make the most sense for remembering which goes where. The gasket always goes next to the jar base, followed by the blade assembly, then followed by the screw-on cap that's above the base of the blender. Continue putting the blender back together, then test to see the blade rotates. To see full text information and still pictures, visit the blog article. The article also has information about buying replacement blender blade assemblies and also about using mason jars in place of blender jars.